Hello everybody and welcome back to Tips and Tricks for the 2. Today we want to have a look for the virtual playback. What is a virtual playback? The virtual playback allows you to expand your console with wings you don't have even connected. There's a little wing button up here and the wing button lets you choose between the maximum amount of connectable wings to your console. For example, we've seen the core faders. Well, that's exactly the same as I have already down here. So they work in parallel. This doesn't expand our playback. But if I choose a fader wing, if it's connected or not, it shows you virtually the fader wing and you can use it. So this expands your playback. So if I choose a button wing, for example, I get 48 executor buttons more than I've had before. And I can use them like normal executors. So I can select some lights, bring them up, give them a nice color, for example. This is nice. I want to store this. And I store it on my button executor up here. And I can label and handle it like a normal executor that is physically there. If I want to change the function of the button, there's a little wrench key up here and I can say, no, I don't want to toggle, I want a normal go. Of course, this works as well for the fader wings. So, if you connect wings later on, of course, your assigned executors or faders will be on the physical one automatically. This is nice for pre-programming like on the own PC, like I do it here. I can pre-program my show at home. I have no hardware at home, but if I'm on the job and I get the wing, my executors that I've assigned are already there. If you are in doubt which number this is, don't forget, press the MA button and you can see the exact number. This can help to expand your playback. This can help to make you quicker. Hope this was a nice one. Take care. Happy programming. Bye-bye.